Well, it looks like Ryanair's outspoken CEO, Michael O'Leary, has once again made headlines. This time by suggesting that the Irish low-cost carrier might consider buying planes from China. Yes, you heard that right. Let's break this down. Speaking to Skift, a travel industry news site, O'Leary indicated that if the price were right, Ryanair could consider purchasing Chinese-made aircraft. He specifically referenced Comax C919, a narrow-body jet designed to compete with the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320. In his usual no-nonsense style, O'Leary said, The Chinese are basically building an A320, so if it was cheap enough, 10 or 20 percent cheaper than an Airbus aircraft, then we'd order it. For Ryanair, this isn't just about exploring alternatives. It's about getting the best deal possible in an increasingly competitive market. Historically, the airline has been known for its aggressive cost-cutting strategies, and this latest remark reinforces that approach. Ryanair's curiosity about Chinese aircraft isn't new. In fact, back in 2011, the airline announced a design partnership with Comac, signaling early interest in the C919's development. However, despite this long-standing engagement, O'Leary remains cautious about the aircraft's future on the global stage. He stated, Ultimately, the aircraft will be certified. We're always focused on buying aircraft at the lowest possible price and at the most opportune time. I don't care who makes them, whether it's Boeing, Airbus, or Comac. As long as the price is right, we'd buy it. Currently, Ryanair operates an all-Boeing fleet for its mainline operations, though its Austrian subsidiary, Lauda Europe, flies a small number of Airbus A320. While O'Leary hinted that Lauda could expand its Airbus fleet, he made it clear that no viable deals for new Airbus aircraft are likely before 2030. O'Leary's statements align with Ryanair's broader financial strategy, buying aircraft when prices are at their lowest. He reinforced this by saying, I'm not wedded. It doesn't all have to be 737, but if we are going to order replacement aircraft, they have to be cheap. That means we have to have cash on the balance sheet, so we're able to order aircraft during a crisis. China's Comac C919 is gradually gaining traction as a potential rival to the Boeing and Airbus. Although the aircraft is currently only certified for domestic operations by the Civil Aviation Administration of China, industry analysts believe it could eventually receive approval for Western markets. Achieving certification from the European Union Aviation Safety Agency is a major hurdle, but Comac has been making progress. The manufacturer completed its fourth round of on-site assessments last year and is set to begin flight tests this year, aiming for ESA approval by 2025. One of the biggest developments surrounding the C919 is the progress of its domestic turbofan engine, the CJ-1000. Currently, the aircraft relies on the LEAP engine by CFM International, but China's Aero Engine Corporation has been working on a homegrown alternative. According to a recent report by the South China Morning Post, trials for the CJ-1000 are progressing well. AECC's deputy general manager in Chengdu stated that a C919 powered by the CJ-1000 could take part in verification flights soon. Beyond engine development, Comac is significantly ramping up production capacity. According to industry sources, the company plans to manufacture 75 C919 aircraft this year, a 50% increase from its original target of 50 jets. By 2029, Comac aims to achieve an annual production rate of 200 aircraft. Furthermore, regulatory approval outside of China remains uncertain. Stephen Udvar Hazy, chairman of Air Lease Corporation, recently expressed doubts about the C919's prospects in Western markets. He stated that in its current form, the aircraft is unlikely to be approved for commercial flights by U.S. or European regulators. What do you think? Could the COMAX C919 realistically compete with the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320 in global markets? And would you feel comfortable flying on a Chinese-built aircraft in the future? Let us know in the comments below.